In my search for animals that live in Thailand, I also came across a number of animals who are native to Thailand and still lives in remote areas. You also see very little of these animals because they only live in the national parks and are rarely seen. I discuss five animals you wouldn't expect to live in Thailand. There are two species of bears in Thailand, the sun bear and the Asian black bear, also called moon bear. The sun bear, Helactos malayanus, is a bear found in tropical forest habitats of Southeast Asia. It is classified as vulnerable as the large scale deforestation that has occurred throughout Southeast Asia over the past three decades has dramatically reduced suitable habitat for the sun bear. The sun bear is also known as the honey bear, which refers to its voracious appetite for honeycombs and honey. The sun bear is the smallest of the bears. Adults are about 150 centimeters long and weigh 27 to 65 kilos. Males are 20% larger than females. The paws are large and the soles are naked, which is thought to be an adaptation for climbing trees. As sun bears occur in tropical regions with year-round available foods, they do not hibernate. Except for females with their offspring, they are usually solitary. The sun bear population also affects other animals. In the jungle, the Asian giant honeybees called Apis dorsata built their nests in the high branches of the Tualang tree, also known as Tapang trees. Their slippery trunks and tall height, about 30 meters, protect the bees from sun bears that wants to climb to the nests. The moon bear, also known as the Asian black bear, is the second species of bear that lives in Southeast Asia. You can easily identify this bear by its black fur, round ears and bright white coloured patch of hair on its chest. This species usually lives in a very large home range. The size of their territory depends heavily on how much food they can find. If food is scarce, sometimes their territories can span 20 square miles or more. Moon bears are omnivores, which means that they eat both plants and animals. Interestingly, carrion is some of the only meat that these animals eat. In fact, most of the time, they do not hunt anything but insects and invertebrates. Grubs are one of their favorite food sources. Outside of humans, these bears have just one predator, Siberian tigers. They primarily inhabit humid forests with high rainfall. During the summer, the bears live in mountainous forests to escape the heat. Most of the sightings in Thailand have been in Khao Yai National Park. 3. Crocodile Salt and fresh water. Crocodiles are only occasionally seen in Thailand. Saltwater crocodiles are closely monitored to ensure they never end up in a tourist area. The best way to see the animals is on a crocodile farm. The critically endangered Siamese crocodile, a freshwater crocodile, has been spotted for two times in the last decade in the national parks of the country. For Black Panther, a Black Panther sighting in Thailand's Kain Kracha National Park has been reported this month. The images, captured by a tourist Mongol on February 25th, were confirmed by the park chief, who stated that the panther appeared unaffected by the tourist's presence. According to Mongol, the panther didn't show signs of distress or aggression, but continued to roam the area before eventually merging back into the forest. The park estimates that approximately 10 panthers and leopards inhabit the Bangkrang Panoantung area based on decade long surveys. These big cats are generally non aggressive towards humans, preferring to retreat into their natural habitat when encountered by humans. 5. Gar. The Gar, Bos gaurus, also called Indian bison, is the largest extant bovine native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. The species is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List 
since 1986 as the population declined in recent years. Population trends are stable in well protected areas and are rebuilding in a few areas which had been neglected. The gaur is the tallest species of wild cattle. The Malayan gaur is called Seladang and the Burmese gaur is called Pyong. The domesticated form of the gaur is called Gayal or Mithun. In Thailand, gaur were once found throughout the country, but less than a thousand individuals were estimated to have remained in the 1990s. In the mostly semi-evergreen Khao Yai Park, they were recorded at low density at the turn of the century, with an estimated total of about 150 individuals. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe my channel. It helps me very much. If you have any comments, please write them below the video. I really appreciate it.